This is a basic introduction on how to recognize and respond to a seizure. For people who have had a brain injury, there is an increased risk of seizures. Our brains send messages through a complicated system of nerves. These messages allow us to think, feel, and move. During a seizure, the messages are briefly disrupted in the brain, causing an electrical overload in part or all of the brain. Seizures are most common during the first year after a brain injury. When having a seizure, a person is at risk for getting other injuries, especially if they fall. Injuries can include broken bones, injuries from biting their tongue, further brain injury from hitting their head. In extreme cases, it can even lead to death. Not all seizures are alike. Partial seizures occur in one part of the brain and may affect only part of the body. Generalized seizures affect all of the brain and usually all of the body. It's not uncommon for a partial seizure to develop into a generalized seizure. A person having a generalized seizure may show symptoms that include muscle contractions, stiff, jerking muscle movements, vomiting or loss of control over bladder and bowels, a blank stare during the seizure, loss of consciousness. If you are with someone who is having a seizure, there are several things you should do to help them. If you are in the hospital, Call the staff for help immediately. If you are at home or out in the community, protect the person having the seizure. You can do this by gently lowering them to the floor, turning them on their side to prevent choking, and calling 911. Make sure the person is safe. Clear the area and make sure to remove all sharp or hard objects. Next, check to make sure that they are breathing. Loosen clothing and anything else that might make it hard for them to breathe. Do not place anything in the person's mouth, including silverware, sticks, or your fingers. Do not hold the person's tongue. It is important not to restrain or leave this person alone. Creating a calm and quiet environment is helpful for everyone. Most seizures will end in less than five minutes, even though it may seem longer. Following a seizure, a person may need to rest or sleep for a while. They may be confused. They may have a headache. They may feel weak in the arms and legs. They may have a hard time speaking and previous problems from their brain injury may return for a short time. Things should go back to the way they were before the seizure happened. Do not give them anything to eat or drink until they are fully awake and able to swallow safely. Seizures usually can be effectively managed by you and your healthcare provider. Learning to recognize and respond to a seizure when it does happen is important for everyone Discuss your particular risks with your physician.